This video may contain voice assistant activation phrases. Hi, Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I want to talk a little bit about controlling our smart lighting using our Echo Dot. Now, as you'll have seen in our previous video where we did the unboxing and setup of our Echo Dot, um, it was a fairly straightforward and easy process and we've now got this positioned uh, here in our living room. We've also got this integrated with our Philips Hue smart lighting system. That was fairly easy to do. You just use the app for the Echo Dot on the phone and run a discovery process to look for your uh, smart lighting system, in our case Philips Hue. Press the button on our Philips Hue bridge and that then allows the Echo Dot to discover all of your devices. And it does discover everything. It discovers all of your lights, all of your rooms, all of the scenes that you've got set up. Um, now you'll have also seen in some of our previous videos that we've been having a play around with using voice assistants on smartphones and PCs. Siri uh, on the iPhone, for example, that uses the Apple HomeKit system. That works relatively well, but because it's a completely separate system um, and isn't just integrating directly with the devices itself, it means that there are certain things that don't come across. So, for example, all of the scenes that we've got set up um, on our Philips Hue system don't get synced over to the Apple HomeKit system. You have to kind of recreate them all. And so you could be asking Siri to turn on a particular scene that you've set up in Hue, and it might not be there. Um, in uh, Cortana on Windows 10, we had a slightly better experience there in terms of discovering everything. Um, but because we had to use a third-party app, we were also seeing scenes come across that should actually be hidden, that aren't normally exposed to you inside the native app. Plus, we had to be ultra-specific about the voice commands that we were giving, otherwise it just didn't work. And because of that, it just didn't feel very natural to interact with. I have to say, so far, our experience of using the Echo Dot has been a lot better. The commands that we're able to issue are a lot more natural. So I can do simple commands. So, for example, I can say, Alexa, lounge on. Okay. And you can see it turns the lights on. I can ask for particular scenes as well. So I can say, Alexa, turn on cozy in the lounge. Okay. And you can see it changes the lights for me there. Um, and of course I can ask for specific colours. Alexa, turn lounge lights blue. Okay. And of course I can adjust the brightness and I can say things like, Alexa, dim the lights in the lounge. Okay. And it reduces the brightness for me. So it's fairly straightforward for me to just issue fairly um, natural commands and all of that works. I do have to be specific about which room I want to um, turn the lights on and off in. Um, there's no feature as yet, at least, for me to simply tell the device which room it's in so that I don't actually have to specify that. But it's also nice to be able to um, tell the system to turn lights on in another room that I'm about to walk into so that that room is already lit um, before I walk in. So it's nice to be able to do that as well. There are also capabilities that this has that actually go slightly beyond what you can do in the native Philips Hue system. Um, inside Philips Hue, everything is based around rooms and there's no way to group rooms together and there's no way to set up scenes that span multiple rooms. But with um, the Echo Dot, I can actually set up groups uh, of smart devices. Um, so I've actually set up a group simply called Downstairs that includes all of the lights in the living room and all of the lights in the kitchen. Well, just one for the time being, since all we've got at the moment is the LED light strip. But that allows me to say, if I just turn these lights off for starters, it allows me to say, Alexa, turn on the downstairs lights. Okay. And that works. It's turned on the um, lights behind me, it's also turned on the ceiling light, and it will have also turned on the lights in the kitchen too. So doing that allows me a bit more control that goes slightly beyond what I can do in the native Philips Hue system. I have to say so far, um, this has been fairly natural for us to interact with and we've been finding ourselves using this uh, a lot more than we have with things like Siri um, or Cortana. Uh, my partner has uh, an Android phone, so obviously that's Google Assistant. Um, we've not really been using any of those, but we have been using this. We've found that this is just fairly natural to just bark orders at, and it, it, it does it. It just seems to, ju seems to just work most of the time. Um, as with any voice assistant, um, there are, of course, a few flaws. Occasionally, it might not recognise what you say, but these things, of course, improve over time. But so far, I have to say I'm a lot more impressed with this than some of the other voice assistants that we've tried. 
Now, I have written a companion blog post which goes into a little bit more detail about our experiences so far, so please have a read of that. You'll find the link in the description below. Or have a look at the website, newhometricks.com. If you've liked this video, please share it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.